came down from Birmingham, Alabama to Gainesville, Florida on a pilgrimage to check out the tourist sites for Tom Petty. Because Tom Petty was, he grew up in Gainesville, Florida. And actually he got together with the Heartbreakers here in Gainesville. So the entire band got together here and they all went to LA together and became famous. And lasted for 40 years. So I always wanted to go and check it out. So I, I came into town and first place I saw was called Lillian's Music Store. Now Tom Petty talks about Lillian's Music Store in this song Dreamville. He opens up the song with like, Going down to Lillian's Music Store. And he's going to buy a guitar there. But if you, apparently it's like a bar, there's karaoke. And it's been like that for 30 years. So I'm not sure if it used to be a music store. Then from there, I walked to this museum. And at one point, they had an exhibit on Tom Petty. In general, it's a museum about Gainesville. And it was closed, so I didn't actually go inside. But I kept walking, and then I found this place called Heartwood Soundstage, which apparently is kind of an iconic music venue in Gainesville. Um, but the notable thing for me is that they had a mural of Tom Petty. There, this was one of about four murals that I'll be talking about in this video. And it features him in Alice in Wonderland, a uh, Mad Hatter setup from the Don't Come Around Here No More music video. And this was really interesting. It was on Tom Petty Alley. So there's like a little alley they named after him. But it's not fancy, you know. Um, there's a bunch of Gainesville looking trees with the moss coming down. And it's painted like, looks like on the side of a shed or on the side of a barn or something. So that was enough walking around for me. So it was pretty hot, pretty humid. Um, then I found Main and 16th Street where there was another mural. That was pretty cool. Got some photos. And it was really interesting because the quote um, that they had on the mural was, And the world got still. Which of course is a quote from one of Tom Petty's uh, songs. But I thought it was an unusual quote to put on the mural. And I thought, you know, maybe that is kind of representing Gainesville in some way. Maybe it's appropriate. Because the world of Gainesville that Tom Petty grew up in was a quiet, kind of smallish town. It's gotten a lot bigger since then. So maybe that was kind of the perception of the world back then was that it was pretty still. Then I found another Tom Petty mural at his old elementary school. Uh, Sydney Lanier School is what it's called. And it had a quote from the Wild Wildflowers album, the Wildflower song. You belong among the wildflowers, the quote was. You know, pretty uh, appropriate quote for elementary school. Oh, then things get pretty exciting. So I found Tom Petty Park. Now, originally when I was thinking about, like, coming down here, I thought I'd, like, find a statue of Tom Petty or something at the Tom Petty Park. But they got a photo from Damn the Torpedoes album, and it's just a normal park. They've got, uh, you know, um, baseball stadium and park things. But it turns out that this is the park where Tom Petty played a lot and hung around a lot when he was a kid. Probably smoked a lot of pot here in this park too. Um, and his childhood home is just around the corner. So I walked from the park to his home and I was surprised to see that they actually had a wooden uh, dedication, a wooden photo of Tom Petty right there at the front of the house. And you know, when I was there, I was thinking, how many people live here? How many people have lived in Gainesville for decades and kind of remember the Petties and the story of the kids and the parents and all of that? From there, I stumbled onto something pretty cool. It was called the 34th Street Murals. And on 34th Street, there's just these string of murals. And apparently the one that they've had dedicated for Tom Petty has been there for um, a while, but it'll get painted over. It'll get um, drawn over and then they have to go and do it again. So it's kind of like it has to fight for its existence and its prominent display. And so I, I was excited to happen upon that and it was amongst all these other murals with you know relevant current event related things like uh, Black Lives Matter related material, George Floyd's death, police, um, all of this, these notions kind of a, a lot of black um, coloring too, kind of like darkness uh, throughout the a lot of the murals. It was a long stretch of murals along this thing 
but Tom Petty was kind of in the, in the center there. And, and the quote that they put on this one was, the world is changing fast, but our love was built to last. And I think that's, you know, pretty cool and relevant too. It's a nice message to put up amongst all the kind of uh, civil rights and uh, public awareness stuff on there that, you know, our love is built to last. That's the powerful message is the kind of unity, even though the world is changing fast. So that was my trip to Gainesville. You know, they don't have a museum for Petty right now. They don't have a statue yet. Uh, there's just these murals and these things that you got to search for and kind of a little insider thing. You got to be a hardcore fan to get really excited about it, but it seemed like a good excuse for a road trip. Good thing to do. And, um, I, uh, I post regularly. So hit that subscribe and the bell if you want to stay tuned on my posts and hit the like if you like. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. I'll put all the locations down below too in case you want to go searching for these. Oh yeah, I tried to find an alligator too. Oh, I tried to find an alligator. I didn't find one. That's okay though. I have seen one live wild alligator before in my life. So I guess I'm doing all right. Thanks for checking out this video.